bright duty. Every student matters. That night, Pip went to Clara's apartment and met Herbert, who explained that the uh, you know entire thing was cooked up, was made by uh, you know there was a lot of noise basically that was coming, and Herbert explained that this noise was coming from Clara's father's room. Mr. Barley, who was drunk and he was just cruel and was abusing and you know swearing so badly. Herbert and Clara have finally told about their engagement to Mrs. Wimple, who was Clara's landlady, but she considered her to be motherly person. Pip and Herbert went down upstairs to the room where Provis was staying under the name of Mr. Campbell. When Provis heard about the spy, he agreed with Pip and Wemmick's plan that he must go abroad. So he also did not want to be killed by Compeyson. Herbert suggested that he and Pip would help Provis to escape by taking him away on a boat. They decided that they would begin rowing by uh, the provinces window regularly so that that was a habit that is not doubted or is not made you know is not looked at with a suspicious eye now in the meantime provis also was told that he was going to signal his safety by drawing his window blind. So if he was going to draw his window blind, that means he was safe. Now, despite the plan that they had made, Pip was very worried about Provis's safety and was somehow afraid that they were being watched, that there was somebody who was spying them and was looking at them all through the while. Now, Pip was obviously heartbroken, spent several weeks being heartbroken and he was worried about Provis also. He was in debt. He owed a lot of money to his debtors and when he opened the pocketbook that Provis had given him, which was filled with notes, Herbert told him not to. He thought that if Pip was going to use Provis's money, he was a fraud. He would be termed as a fraud and it was, was not going to be any good to him. Now, Pip also agreed with him because Herbert was his good friend and he understood and confided in Herbert thoroughly. Now, Pip would continue, would flow, would row through the river very frequently. Now, when he came back to the shore one night near Mr. Wopsle's theatre, Pip decided to go to see Mr. Wopsle's show. Pip had heard that Mr. Wopsle had fallen, uh, had become a very disappointed and a depressed man because he could not succeed as an actor and was going through a very tough time. After the show, Mr. Wopsle came to Pip and told him that the other convict from the marshes, he had been sitting behind Pip during the play. Pip was terrified. He tried to conceal, he tried to hide his fear from Mr. Wopsle, but back at the apartment, he told Herbert and sent the news to Wemmick. He tried to live even more cautiously. Now, one night when they were coming ashore, when they were trying to go, Pip ran, Pip met Mr. Jaggers, who invited Pip to have dinner with him and Wemmick. Mr. Jaggers informed Pip that Miss Havisham had requested that Pip should visit her. Now, Pip was not comfortable and he talked about Drummond and about his marriage to Estella. Mr. Jagger speculated that Drummond was not going to have a very good relationship with Estella because he was very dumb and he was very dull. And uh, Mr. Jagger described Dummel as the sort of man who would either continue to crave about something or is going to beat the girl to get her way out. Now, they could 
see that Molly was what was waiting on them. You know, she had her eyes on them constantly. It suddenly realized that she is the person Estella reminded him of. That Estella looked like Molly and they actually looked, uh, you know, resembled each other. And he was somehow sure that Molly was Estella's mother. Now, one day when he was walking alone with Vemek after the dinner, Pip found that Vemek had never seen Estella and asked Vemek to recount, to tell him about Molly's history. He was told that about 20 years ago, she had been accused. She was blamed of having killed a woman who had an affair with Molly's husband. At that time, Molly was living on the streets and was very jealous of, uh, you know, whosoever woman his older husband met. And every evidence pointed towards Molly's guilt. But Mr. Jaggers defended her and won her case and made her wear nice clothes and arms were delicate. So... He, uh, you know, actually protested that she could not strangle anybody. She could not. Strangling is when you kill somebody by holding the, the throat. So, uh, he also told that there were scratches on the back of her hands, you know. So, the court assumed that those scratches were her daughters whom they suspected that she had murdered to get revenge on her husband. Jaggers responded that um, the murder of the child was not the crime on the trial, that they were not talking about the murder of the child, rather the murder of that woman whom she was acquitted for. And that is when Mr. Jaggers got a good reputation as a lawyer. And ever since then, Molly had been working as a mate. Next day, Pip visited Miss Havisham, who was very sad and distracted, and told him that she wanted to show uh, Pip that she is not that cold-hearted by helping him with Herbert. She agreed to supply 900 pounds towards Herbert's career. Now, this concern did not make Herbert happy. This concern did not make Pip any happy because he was already heartbroken about Estella. But Miss Havisham hoped that someday Pip will be able to forgive her. And Pip responded that he can forgive her now and that he has too many mistakes to his own account to you know actually make somebody else responsible for something that they have done miss havisham knelt down at pip's feet and she started crying she told him that she could see him uh, professing expressing true love for estella and that reminded her of her own true love for the husband that had estranged her and that she raised Estella in a wrong manner. She told Pip that she only and only wanted to make sure that the girl does not suffer the way she had suffered. But the way Estella was brought up had actually gone a very bad, uh, you know, gone through a very bad phase and she did not get the desired results. Estella turned out to be a heartless woman. Pip asked about Estella's past and Miss Havisham told him that, uh, uh, Miss, that Mr. Jaggers brought Estella to Santa's house. And Miss Havisham asked him to find when, you know, she wanted to adopt an orphan girl. So Mr. Jaggers brought Estella to her house. She did not know who were Estella's birth parents. Pip then bade her goodbye Again, thinking about her, his childhood vision of Miss Havisham. She again had that vision of Miss Havisham hanging from the beam. And uh, he went upstairs to check on her for the last time. But there he saw that Miss Havisham was on fire. 
you know the sparks from the hurt hurt is that place where uh, you know in the foreign countries basically there is some firewood to give them warmth in the cold weather so because of that fire miss havisham was on fire now they tackled her so that she would be able to save herself she got her arms burnt now she was on the ground she was struggling she was very desperate to fight that off the clothes the wedding clothes of miss havisham were burnt away but she survived instead of the injuries that she had and when she was lying unconscious at night she asked pit to forgive her